Hey, welcome everyone to Monday Art News. I am Maria Stefanovic and the Executive Director for the Leesburg Center for the Arts. And we're talking about Art Happens Here. That's right, this week we've got some, some stuff going on that you will want to be a part of. Um, first off, let me tell you, subscribe to our newsletter. Subscribe to our newsletter. How do you do that? You go to leesburgarts.com, subscribe to newsletter, put your first and last name in with email address and hit submit button. And then that way you can get this newsletter every week. So everything, all of the links, I'm gonna tell you where to find stuff. All of this information is available in one, in one email instead of you trying to remember where all the stuff is and where to find it and, where to, and what, to, uh, what to watch and where to watch it and how to watch it. But you need the newsletter. Yes, you do. So subscribe to this newsletter. Go to leesburgarts.com and subscribe today. Yay! Okay, so that that's that. I had to tell that because I want you guys to see. I want you to be a part of this. So, um, and the best way to do that is subscribe to the newsletter and get it, and then that way you can schedule all of the really cool programs that are happening and be a part of those. On Wednesday is Art Share. We had to reschedule Art Share originally. It was debuted for last Wednesday because of te technical difficulties. So this Wednesday is Art Share. If you don't know what Art Share is, it is uh, a performance style platform for all artists of all mediums. And what you're doing is you're getting on stage and you're sharing your work, whether it's 2D, 3D, music, film, it doesn't matter. The idea is that you're getting on stage and you're, and you're sharing your work, your collection, the journey through that. Um, so this week, we put, uh, Pat Gilmore put a playlist together of, um, it's a compilation of different things. So it's some performances, um, some spoken word, and then uh, some video for so 2D work. So that's gonna be exciting. That debuts 6 p.m. Facebook watch, be part of that on Wednesday. And then Thursday, Sarah Tremblay, our outreach coordinator, is releasing the next lesson, episode of her lesson plan uh, for Elements of the Arts. For el Elements of Arts. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm not redoing this. This is like the 1800 take. Can't. Okay. Sarah will be talking about texture. And that is on Thursday, so stay tuned for that. Um, that's exciting. If you're looking or wanting to explore the elements of art and teach, maybe as a home lesson or just use it as a refresher, uh, she has several lessons already created, uh, color, shape, and line. So this week will be texture, so stay, stay tuned for that. That's Thursday. And then Friday's our day, so we have our create, which is, uh, our version of Open Studio. Open Studio traditionally is at the Leesburg Center for the Arts on Friday from 10 to 12. Um, because of the pandemic, we've had to do a home edition. So I am hosting the home edition. It's called Art Create Home Edition. And last week we debuted with an art assignment. I am creating a, I'm actually working off an art assignment uh, inspired by artist Lonnie Holly. He's a sculptor and it's called Portrait Shadow. Yay! It's gonna be, I, I'm just really super excited about it. Uh, the whole lesson, the whole thought process behind the art assignments, which is a PBS special that is created and hosted by Sarah Earth Green, is concentrate on making the art. Don't worry about or don't wait for the creativity muse to come. Make something. And so what the art assignments are, are lessons, and they're actually assignments on a, uh, for, uh, for an art project of some sort. So th this one was cool. This is very cool and I'm excited to do this. This week I will be assembling the wire profile for my sculpture to the base. So stay tuned for that. If you wanna be part of the Zoom, um, our Create Home Edition, all you have to do is go to our website, leesburgarts.com, go under the calendar and look up Art Create. The Zoom invitation is on there. Um, so join in and, you know, bring in whatever you're working on. It doesn't have to be the same the same thing I'm working on. Just bring something, be a part of it. I would love to hear what your comments and thought processes on um, what, I, what I'm working on, maybe how to assemble. I'm kind of thinking about several different options, so I'd love to hear your opinion on that. Um, and then, 
Pat is hosting uh, 12 p.m. Coffee and Congo. So uh, she had the opportunity to go out to a local, it's the Florida Japanese dojo. It's located in Eustis. And she was able to interview the owner, take a tour of the dojo and the property. And um, it'll debut 12 p.m. Friday for the Coffee and Convo. So check that out on Facebook. Um, and then 7 p.m. is also a Facebook watch party. And that is Friday Night Jams with Amy Robbins. Amy Robbins is a local musician who uh, performs a lot now, right now in Mount Dora and in Orlando. But she is a Leesburgian from this area, and so she, we, um, there's a lot of things. She comes and uses our facility a lot, and then we worked with her a lot on different shows and the art festival and um, shows at the art center, so this is really great. Last week she debuted three new songs, so I'm excited to see what she does this week. That's 7 p.m. This is your opportunity to have an in-house concert, so join in, be a part of that. Super fun. Um, okay, so then we've got, uh, if you don't know, we've got a couple of virtual galleries going on. We've got the Women Made Virtual Gallery. This is a Tri-City Collaborative. First time we've ever done anything like this and loving it. Um, us, Mount Dora Center for the Arts and the Lake County Museum of Art all got together and curated a show. It's called The Women Made. It highlights 55 women artists and each venue has uh, different pieces. So. Um, we've all joined in and created a virtual gallery of the show. So join in, see it, be a part of it, check it out. And then we are also hosting the 8th Annual Leesburg uh, Student Art Exhibit. We do this every year. Uh, this year we're featuring five schools. It is Leesburg Elementary, Beverly Shores Elementary, Oak Park Middle School, First Academy, and Leesburg High School. It's over 200 pieces of work, so check that out. Um, I'm really proud of these kids, proud of these teachers. Um, they were able, you know, they, they morphed and they adapted and we were still able to get the, the show up and make sure that these, the kids, this, these student artists had the opportunity to show off their work. And I'm really happy and proud of them and the work is, is, is great, it's beautiful. So I'm excited for that. Uh, we do have two call for artists. Uh, the Healing Arts is a call for art for the UF Health Leesburg Hospital, so check that out. We're looking for art for the second floor of the, it's the Women's Services and Pediatrics floor. Uh, we'd love to see what you have, apply for that. Um, and then we also have an in-house gallery show in September, it's called I Am Not Alone. And um, it's for CFA members, so check that out. Um, it's it, it's to show your work uh, through the journey, well, your artistic journey through the time of isolation and quarantine. Um, so apply for that show. Deadline is July 1st or 15th. I can't remember, but it's on our website. Check that out. Um, I, I really, I'm excited about the submissions. I, I'm, ex I'm excited to see how this turns out. Um, and then, dun, 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 the Women Made series. We've been hosting a Meet the Artist series. Um, and this week is Chrissy Hawkins. So she has uh, a couple pieces in the Women Made show. Her video is available to see on our website, Facebook page, Instagram, YouTube. Um, amazing artist. She, the work that she has at the Art Center right now is an abstract piece. Um, just phenomenal. So check that out. Get to know her a little bit. Really awesome person. And that's not it. No, 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 no. Why, why would that be it? So um, we have um, a couple of other opportunities coming up for Call for Artists. I will be uh, comp compiling those calls and then issuing them out next week, I think. I'm hoping for one this Friday and then the following Friday. So that'll... Uh, be a couple more opportunities and then if you are an artist that was affected by COVID-19 uh, check out the artistrelief.org page they have several relief packages out there check that out apply for that um, I hope that helps and then um, again subscribe to our newsletter I don't want I don't want you to forget that ever subscribe 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 and if you like what you see join the Leesburg Center for the Arts as a member an annual membership starts at $35 for the year 
You cannot go wrong. That's like $2.80 a, a month. So just join us and be a part of the Creative Tribe, the CFA family. We'd love to have you. Um, that's all available on our website um, under membership. And there's, there's different opportunities and, and levels. If you are a business and you want to do it, then that's great too. So um, that is a really great way to, for you to support us. Thank you. And then, oh, ooh, 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 I forgot. Okay, so we have really cool Art Happens Here t-shirts that are right now for sale um, on our, hmm, we have them on our Facebook page. It is a partnership with Sunday Cool. It's a t-shirt company out of Tavares. Really awesome. They, did, they have a support local um, promotion going on. So they created these t-shirts and we're splitting, they're splitting the proceeds. Uh, it's 50% goes to the Leesburg Center for the Arts and then 50% goes to them to cover the cost of the t-shirt. Really kick butt t-shirt, so get yours. We've got maybe, I think, a week left. So make sure you check them out. Sunday Cool is the website and uh, look up Leesburg Center for the Arts and check out the t-shirt. And I'll make sure that we post a couple of times on our Facebook and on Instagram the opportunity because they're kick butt t-shirts and they're jersey, like they're the jersey tee, so they're super soft. Oh, love them. I can't wait for mine to come in because I think I ordered four of them because I like t-shirts, so I can't help myself. Uh, so that's a really cool project. Thank you, Sunday Cool. I appreciate you. Um, appreciate your pledge for small business and to support local. So you guys freaking rock. And then I want to say thank you to all of the participants for the Community Sidewalk Art Chop Art Project. Um, that was fantastic. We were able to compile all the images we could find and we presented that as a video to UF Health Leesburg Hospital's marketing team and then they turned around and um, put it on their Facebook page but also sent it out to all of their staff. So I appreciate and thank everyone that participated in that. Um, you guys are amazing. It was such a nice um, photo album to put together. I, I'm so proud of Leesburg. I'm so proud of our peeps and I'm so proud of our community. Um, it was a really nice thing to see and peruse and go through. It, it was cool. So, uh, okay, and then I got two more things. I'm just trying to make it under my 15 minute like time limit that I'm giving myself. So I apologize for the rush on things, but there are two more things. I know. So I want to give a shout out to Melon Patch Players, which is the community theater in Leesburg. They've been around forever. Uh, and when I say forever, more than 60 years. I don't know the exact number right now, but I'm pretty sure it's something in the 70 year bracket they've been around. Um, if you don't know where Melon Patch Theater is, it's the Melon Patch Players. Where have you been, my friends? Like seriously, awesome community theater, great talent, awesome people behind it. Um, it's on 13th Street beside uh, First Academy and First Baptist Church. They, they're just really cool, creative bunch of folks um, that provide an, an awesome value when it comes to performing art. So check that out. Uh, it's Melon Patch Players. And if you are really inquisitive and want to know what the theater is all about, right? I love backstage. I'm a backstage person. What that means is I love the intricate parts that make something happen. And uh, for, a, for a while in my career, I was a, a, fa a costume designer. So I love being a part of the bigger project and the bigger outcome. So what Dustin Levine, the executive director at Melon Patch does is he takes you on the tour of the theater and goes to the green room back behind this, behind the black curtain. I mean, it's super cool. So check that out. That's on Facebook. And then I want to give a shout out to Craig Conservatory, which is a um, new private school that will open in August, K to fifth grade, and it's a STEM STEAM based school. Um, they are, it's an art integration school. There, it's they're, what that means is they're using art and integrating it into their curriculum. Um, they they have a website. It's Craig Conservatory. Dot com, and then they're also available on Facebook, so check that out. Uh, Nikki Deslack is their founder, and she reads she's she's reading a bedtime story every day at 8 p.m. So 
really cute. Usually her son is a part of the uh, video, so check that out. And then on Wednesdays, she's offering a art, uh, an art lesson, but it's, it's an integrative art lesson. So it has to do with some, one of the core subjects. So check that out. Um, really cool school. And she's also willing to, if you contact her and your student at home is having a hard time with a particular lesson that they've been given, um, she's willing to help uh, customize a lesson plan for them for that particular class to help them with the learning part of it. So check that out. Um, again, it's Nikki Duslack with the Craig Conservatory and they follow them on Facebook. Um, yay, I did, oh, 15, 15, almost 16 minutes. Okay, I wanna just say thank you, thank you, thank you. And subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All right, bye.